Today I'm going to talk about how to fix a dripping bathroom tap or faucet and how to service the tap at the same time. Now in this case we've got two taps coming into one spout so you don't know, really know which one is leaking so it's always an idea to do both together uh, because Murphy's Law is after a week or two the other one will start leaking anyway so that's what we'll do. Now of course today we're talking about conventional taps where hot and cold come in on separate taps. We're not talking about this mixer type tap where hot and cold are mixed in the tap and you've got a single control for the two of them. That's for another day. Now the first step is to isolate these taps um, and in this case we're going to have to turn off the main supply to the house. So let's do that. So here we have the main supply to the house and so we'll just turn that off. Now a useful tip is to find a tap that's at a lower level to the taps that you're servicing and to open that tap to release the pressure in the pipes and leave it open because uh, you can get a leak from your main valve uh, which will make it continually drip while you're trying to service the taps and also when you open the taps in the bathroom um, if this taps open it allows the pipe to drain properly right so we're back in the bathroom now now it's an idea to open both taps to let the water drain out but not only that, it takes the, the old washer off the seat of the tap. So when you're undoing the taps, you don't have the pressure of the washer against the seat. And that makes it easier and you have to use less pressure. I always, uh, when I'm doing a job like this, you'll see these taps have got a facade on them. And always a good idea to take a photograph before you start because it, uh, it often happens you forget which is hot and which is cold or how it was assembled so always a good idea to get a photograph before you get going. Now a very important first step is to the plug in, in case you drop something small and it goes down the plug hole so that's your first trick. Then I always like to have a bit of corrugated cardboard protecting the bath or the basin or whatever you're working on just in case you drop something like a tool or something that can chip the bath because that's always a bit sad. I also normally just get an old towel and fold it double <coughs> for that same reason and then something to kneel on so that I can get in the bath. Right first job is to get these little covers off that cover the screws. Sometimes you need the pliers to get them loose. These are quite loose as they are. This one's spring loaded, so you've just got to be a bit careful as it comes off. And then what I always do is get myself some little plastic tubs and keep everything in the right sequence and orientation that it comes off. So there we have that one off and there's the tap exposed. And then a similar story here. Remove that. Keep everything in the right sequence. Now we've got to turn these off and open them up. You can't grip them there because they inside the tile line. And one's got to be a bit careful when that turns that it doesn't uh, engage the tile. If it does, you've got to chip away a bit of that tile, otherwise it's going to fracture that tile. The next step is to remove the, the tap. So get a spanner that fits really well. Don't apply excessive force because if you do, you might damage your plumbing joints inside the wall and that's going to be a disaster. So if you feel... You have to use excessive force rather stop and get a professional to do it for you so let's have a go now when you're doing this just make sure you've got a good grip of the spanner so it doesn't go flying and break a tile or something like that 
So let's, oh, there we go, not too bad. And very often you can just turn it by hand. And there's, there's the old washer. You'll pull that out. Now if you buy yourself a kit like this, you get uh, the washer, tap washer, you get the fiber washer, which is that red thing there, and you get the O-ring, uh, which I'll show you how to replace that in a minute. Um, I normally don't replace the fiber washer unless it's really bad. This one looks all right, um, so we won't replace that, but we'll replace the O-ring and the tap washer. So let's do the O-ring first. Get one out of here is you screw it in clockwise and as you do you'll see that plunger emerges with an o-ring on it there get the o-ring out get the old o-ring off there we go and then it's a matter of putting the new o-ring on Little bit tight sometimes get it into there of um, o-ring grease and just rub it on there just helps it to go in a bit better not much just a tiny bit rub that around there and then you've got to put it back so you just do the reverse of what you did wind it back now it's very important to wind it right back because if you don't, when you're trying to tighten the tap into place, um, you'll find that this uh, fiber washer doesn't seat properly because that is binding first. So very important to just wind it right back before you replace it. There we go, right back there. Then we take our new washer, slip that in there, keep it all on together, slide it back in. Obviously, just be careful about your tightening. You don't want to over tighten it. Just a little bit of pressure like that, that's fine. But now that you've tightened it there, now it's time to just screw it in until the seat, until the washer seats and seals so that when you turn the water on, um, it's not leaking. But we need to leave it just like that so we can check if there are any leaks anywhere. Now, if your O-ring is leaking, you'll normally get a drip from here. And that's a sign that you need to replace the o-ring but if you're undoing the tap you may as well replace it anyway so that's a good tip and the other tap is exactly the same and then we'll just tighten this up and then I'll go and turn on the tap again the mains and we'll see if there are any leaks if there are no leaks the facade back on the taps now I've turned the water on and there doesn't appear to be any leaks, but sometimes because there's air in the pipe, it doesn't leak straight away. So what I always do is just run a bit of water into a bucket just to make sure there's water there and not air. no leaks there now so that's the end of it <coughs> job done and then we'll just replace the facade on each tap okay, and then <coughs> once that's done you can tighten the taps a bit more but a tip, don't over tighten taps, just tighten them, especially when you've got a new washer in, just tighten them just enough to stop the dripping. 
uh, because then the washer will last longer. If you tighten it very tight, you compress the washer and they don't last that long. So that's enough there now to stop any dripping. Right, that's the job done. And if you found this useful, please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And if you have any comments or questions, just scroll right down to the bottom of the video. There's a comment section there. You can leave us a message. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Thanks for watching.